Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, top three Windows 10 build 14.291 uh, features. Uh, so, the top three are basically um, all coming from Microsoft Edge. So, it looks like Windows' latest build is focused more on Microsoft Edge. So, top number three in my list. I can't believe it took them this long to add this feature. So, now when you create a tab, you're able to right click inside the uh, dress bar. And do paste and go yeah <laughs> it took them this long to actually add that feature the, the next feature is if you right click on a tab now you're able to pin the tab which is pretty awesome uh, if you right click on the tab again you're able to unpin it Microsoft added extensions within the Microsoft Edge so on the three little dots right here it gives you an option to extensions and uh, you're able to load extensions or get extensions. So let's click on get extensions. And it looks like you're able to only download only three extensions right now. You got Microsoft Translator, uh, Reddit Enhancement Suite, and Mouse Gestures. So let's download Mouse Gestures and see how that works. You would think the extensions would be a little simpler, just like Chrome, but it looks like there's an application that actually gets installed within Windows 10. Uh, got a nice little dialog box right here. It opens up the notepad. It says, adding extensions to the preview build of Microsoft Edge, instructions how to do, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yep, yep. So let's see, let's go back inside the three little dots. Extensions, let's load extension. And right here in the downloads, double click on that. Let's select that folder. And there it goes. So it looks like the installation file is going to extract the folder and you got to locate the folder and it loads it up. You would think that we actually load it up automatically for you, but it doesn't look like they're doing that. Hmm, interesting. Now for the new build, they also added an extra uh, UI design that I found. So let's go inside our start. And let's type in uh, alarm and clock. Let's click on that. And let's uh, click on this guy. And it looks like they changed this. So this is pretty awesome right here. They changed the GUI a little bit. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, what it used to be. So this is how it used to be in the old build. This is actually build 14279. And, but they kept the same GUI. But when you edit now, they changed it. Mm, interesting and that's it guys for my top three new features for build 14291 if you guys are testing out the latest build and find something else that i haven't touched based on leave it at the comment section and i catch you guys on the next one peace out